Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Here. What up, everybody? Stop shaking, dude. All right, we're calm now. Hey, guys, it's Buggy Balgums. Yep, it's your boy, May Campbell. All right, I was wondering what you were going to say as your name. May Campbell. <laughs> Every time I introduce him to someone, he says a different name. I'm sticking with May Campbell. May Campbell? May Campbell. Word. But we were just talking. We just actually had like a. What was it, like a two hour convo? Yeah, it was hour, like, damn. Two hour convo just now, and we were just like. <laughs> we were so excited about the conversation. He's like, yo, actually, I, I really have to piss right now. <laughs> so I was like, all right, we're, we might as well do a podcast. Fuck, I didn't even take a piss. I have to piss too. Damn. I'll hold it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, fuck it, we might as well just do a podcast and talk about this shit. And, um,. Pretty much, we were just talking about society and the dynamic of living in this reality and us not being okay and how everyone's depressed. Everyone. And if they say they aren't, they just don't know <laughs> that they are. <laughs> so, um, so I'm a rambling guy. I always talk. People know that I have my thoughts I run off of. Mm. So... Let's just be real with the people. How do you feel about life? (laughs) As far as, like, my life, like, my life, I fucking, like, hate it. But it's, like, I love it at the same time. It's, like... I feel like all of us are like that. Like, we hate it, but we just don't want to make people sad and die. (laughs) Yeah, like, that. I feel like that's what it is, like... Me. You're staying alive so people don't get sad. Personally, I just hate living knowing that I'm going to die. Yeah, me too. That's the weird thing. And then it's like people being like, oh, all these distractions. All these distractions in the world that like take you from everything that you're supposed to be thinking about or like should be. That's more worthy of your yeah. thoughts. <clears throat> yeah, like sports. Like, I get the spiritual part of them because it does bring out, like, a a primal thing and people together. And it's not, like, some Neanderthal shit, like, oh, this guy's not smart enough to comprehend a poem or poetry, so he just needs to beat people up to have some camaraderie. That's not what sports is. It's, it's a little different, but when you break it down how we were hmm. and you really look at it, it's kind of just a distraction, as far as all the noise that it makes in comparison to what we deem important. That shit cause mad bread though too. <laughs> well that's the thing too, money. Like yeah. that's not even that's root of like the a lot of the issues. Like I'll just run down this real quick. Like that the if currency was kindness thing, mm-hmm. like if people were getting paid to be nice like that's how we all survived. We would all be rich and we would all be nice, yo. <laughs> that that the thought of that world is just like it's crazy just to think about that. But we're fake nice at our jobs. The deli John. Yeah, right. When a when a lady's a bitch saying, "Let me get some <laughs> ham." No, you didn't cut that cheese thin enough. <laughs> like you want to be mean as fuck, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to be there. You're only there because you need Thanks. the money to Thanks. keep your lights and shit on so you can survive. But like if the world was self-sustaining with lights and power and water and as far as solar panels and things like that, if all of that was taken care of, which is pretty much primarily what we work for, then work would be whatever and we would have all this extra time to do whatever the fuck we want. But that's not the case in this reality. So this is why this conversation has been a few hours now. Because we're really trying to break down every side of it. It's just sad, though. It is heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking. Because when you take a step back and look at it all, bro, it's like... It's just... It's this dumb rat race we're all playing. And, like... The money thing, like, like what? What did you say? Oh, like sports, it makes a lot of money and stuff. Yeah. And but if, but if, 
if that wasn't even like obviously money is the monetary way to trade things like that one thing i showed you um y'all should watch the movie the laundromat it's actually really good oh yeah thanks but tr- the trade market like i trade you a cow for some eggs but like a cow can die a cow can run away so there needed to be a monetary system for some for to trade i understand that but the concept of everything else like when you look at animals, they're living just to live. They're trying to procreate and expand expand their species. We're not really doing that. We're consciously past that. So the realization of all that, that like we're overpopulated and relationships with the man and female are, are dying. The point of not only living, but building a family and creating something that can live to keep us our thoughts and shit going on is is pointless to us now like a lot of our generation doesn't even want kids because they don't want them to have the pain not that we don't want kids i don't want kids i want no i want kids but i I don't want them in this world that's the fact that's the fact that's like that's what's sad it's shit crazy it's like yo if i have kids bro i would be fucking like i don't know i'm gonna just turn into fucking superman and just only think about... You'd be such a good dad, dude. I probably would. You'd be love. such a good dad. Because, like, I don't know. I love man. <laughs> You'd be I a good-ass dad, the Kids bro. love me, too. I it's can like, see you as a good dad, bro. I would just be all about that kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yo. I would love so much. I would, like, you know what I'm saying? But to tell the kid, like, hey, that just is what it is. Right. Like, like the conversation I had... I've lost a lot of people the past year and a half two years but my buddy passed away about three four days ago and that night we had a candle lighting in woodland and i i stayed at my dad's house in collingswood and Mm. we talked from 9 p.m to 4 a.m straight up the whole time damn and he 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 let me know that like like that's when he told me that like i was his hero that's like everything that we just spoke about but i can't imagine how he felt when I was telling him, like, I don't see the reason for being here at all. Hmm. Like, how spiritual he is and how connected he is with wanting to live and have a family. He knew what I meant, and he had nothing to say because that's the spot we're all at. We all get to that point where we're just like, why are we really here? What's the point? It's fucked up. Speaking of my dad just looked in the corner. I got a picture of him and Arnold, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger in my corner. <laughs> That's gnarly. Yeah. But I don't know. So, like, we were just trying to... We were thinking of alternate realities of, like... Obviously, like, one is if currency was kindness... Like, that's not... So, like, if you held the door for someone, you get five bucks. If you smile, it's ten bucks. If you smack someone, you're bankrupt type of shit like literally anything yeah. mean you lose all your money now that doesn't mean you can just go be nice and get the money back there would have to be some rules and then the psychological part if you had everything you ever wanted and you looked at your neighbor's backyard they might have something you want but the point is not having to take it from the neighbor mm-hmm. or not having to steal it from someone else it would be a free utopia of happy people who would be able to get whatever they want because we all have money because we're nice. We're rich mentally and you know what I mean? So like I said, like that's what I'm saying is that just because you have a just because you're a millionaire now doesn't mean you can be a dickhead one day. Right, right. Doesn't mean you can just punch somebody in the face because oh I got the money now. You still that that right. cancels out the psychological thing that I'm saying. Yeah. So like basically if we all if we could all do whatever we wanted, then all that time that we spend at work and stressing over getting the light bills and this shit, we would use what we really want to do, which a lot of us don't even know. <laughs> do you know what you want to do? I Like, as far as what? Life. Life? Period. Man, look. Not like make music, like what do you want to do? Just like... Oh, like it's... Period. Like if I had the time to just if, learn? Alright, let me reframe it. If... if <laughs> Your perfect life from here on out, what would transpire? What would happen for your dream world? Um, damn, you said not make music and shit. 
Well, that's a part of it. I'm, that's like saying, like, I want to be able to play basketball every day. Like, not like that. Like, what would your dream world be? All right. Well, first, it's like you said with that dude in Australia with the greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Bro, that's so fire. I would definitely make a whole greenhouse over my crib, bro. Dude, like, that's definitely. fire. Like, oh, dude. All right. So I saw that. an article. This guy in Australia, <laughs> he fucking, he built this, like, acre of land and, like, had a big-ass house right in the center. But over his house, he built a greenhouse. So he has a self-sustaining <laughs> environment like, right outside of his door. That's so <laughs> awesome. And he probably has like his own beehives right. and honey and all that shit. Like how many acres does he have? Like, you don't need much for that. You need all. Nah, I'm just every, saying. Everybody like, would only need one acre for that. Like not even true, true, half yeah. an acre. But no, nah, I'm just saying. An like, acre is, I think, a block, like a, a square block. So he has that whole that whole block would be like a dome. We don't have Google to ask right now. Oh, you said, no, nah, you said squ- No, nah, because... The whole block is one acre. Like, that block is an acre. No, an acre is like f- four football fields. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. We don't have Google, like I said, to ask right now. Yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> nah, fuck that. We're letting this shit yeah, wing. Nah, People listening facts. can look it up. Yeah, Either way, we know we're wrong or right. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's the thing. That's how the world should be. We, that is what the world is, but that is what it should be like. We might be right, but we could be wrong. It's a 50-50 thing. Everybody's fucking... That's the scary. When you break it down, though, everybody's mad. Everybody's sad. Everybody's miserable. And I'm not okay with it. Nothing is fine. I'm not okay. Like... We're smart. Like, we know what to do to have electricity... (laughs) <laughs> for free we know what to do to have clean water period we know all these things to literally just survive you know what i mean mm-hmm. so when survival is solved now what's the problem it, it's is it the color is it the old versus young that's why i think it's the old versus young thing because think about the older mindset yeah. and it's always been controlled by old having the young go to wars and shit like that or the wise, or whatever you want to say. But the old are having these same thoughts that we have as young. Right. What is life? Why are we here? Since they got to that level, they're like, fuck that, I made it this far. <laughs> You're not ruining this shit now. Like, that's what I look at, like, like, as we're all pawns. Like, there's got to be a, a society living a more improved life than us that we just don't know about. Like, a society with, like, Flying cars <laughs> and fucking <laughs> dinosaurs as pets and shit. <laughs> Just the Flintstones slash Jetsons. Yo, you think there's an Earth inside the Earth? Like, you think Earth is hollow? You think there's another world in there? Hell no. Hell no. Or me either. I started thinking, like, <laughs> no, because it's possible. I watched a movie the other day. It was pretty cool. It's I like sci fi movies. I like to think, like, the world is flat. I'm not sure. I'm about not it. talking about that. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> I don't sure know, dude. But I don't sense. fucking know. It does make sense. Like, think of a map and think of a globe, right? It's like, all right. Or well, the fuck. Like- the weird thing is that they changed the map. The map before they signed the Treaty of Antarctica, which is about to come up in a few years, actually. No one is allowed to travel and and explore in Antarctica in the world. So a lot of people think that that's a cover up for the Antarctica is the border of the world. That that's oh, the shit. that's why it's flat. Antarctica is the border, the ice. If you look at the old maps, the ice surrounds the globe as it as if it was flat, and all the stuff's in the middle of it. But now the new globe it has them on the top and bottom. So I don't know, dude. It's weird. We haven't gone back to the moon, or if we even went in the first place, right, right. or like my boy that I lived in Arizona with is. He works for NASA. He actually doesn't work for NASA anymore because he works for, like, another company. But he builds rocket ships. Like, this is what he does. Yeah. And he knows about space, you know. So, like, I'm not like I'm just taking his word. So, like, I don't think... No, I'm not even going to say. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say I don't think the world is flat, but I don't fucking know. Because I've been in a plane, you know. Yeah, but right. just to, to, to try to comprehend the vast scale of the world and say like you're on a plane because when you're in a plane and you travel like you don't feel or see this or like it's just going straight you know what i mean so 
It's that where you lift off, you feel that shit. You go up. Oh, yeah, yeah, you feel the gravity and your yeah. ears pop when you're higher in altitude and shit. Breathing is different up there, yeah. too. That's what we were talking about people like Asians and how their eyes are different because of the levitation of their land. Right. Everyone looks different and shit, but... But, but back to what we were talking about, happiness. Yeah. Um, there's got to be a way we can figure this out. What would your perfect world be? The currency kindness. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be like, hey, Mr. Neighbor, hey, because <laughs> hey, like, I don't even want neighbors. I want my own, like, land. I want my own shit, you know what I mean? But that's that's not real in the sense of, like, the scale of the world, space, and people. I don't need that, but when you think about all the vacant buildings and cities and all the homeless people, yeah. and then you think about all the extra land in the desert like Arizona or any of these places that could be turned into habitable places because we have the technology to make it like habitable. So like there's a machine that literally can create rain clouds. Yo, they got that. We could, we could change the desert, but that might fuck with the whole equilibrium of the planet. But like we could make any spot we really wanted to realistically habitable. You know, yeah. so that the fact that there's homeless people in Philly when there's hundreds of 30 floor buildings, empty, right. broken windows type empty, like just warehouses. That's what fucking pisses me off because these people didn't just start out homeless. Mm-hmm. Something could have happened like like there was a story in Collingswood there was this homeless lady who had walked around the city for like the town for like 20 30 years just with a shopping cart and everybody knew her as miss what and then i found out her story was she was actually a very attractive lady she had a full family the house burnt down her three kids and her husband died she didn't accept anything from people she her mind just went here and she just lived on the street until she died damn homeless shelters everybody tried to take her in but her psychological thoughts of life at that point was... So the fact that she even lived for 30 more years on the... Like, she didn't die till she was, like, 90. Like, nice. she was an old lady on the street. Damn. So, like, the, the... When you hear a story like that, like, that's... She's homeless for a, a different reason, you know? Yeah. Not because she was doing some drugs and, like, a lot of people think people are homeless for. You know what I mean? That shit's crazy. So in that utopia that I'm thinking of, like I said, if everybody had everything, the jealousy is going to come in. People are going to be like, oh, I want that. Oh, I should have got that. But the jealousy won't be a it factor in conflict because everybody will be able to obtain it. But if everybody can obtain it, will that take the coolness away? No, because what's cool is what's cool to you. Right. <laughs> Not what you think is cool. You think that's cool? I don't. I think this is cool. <laughs> That's not an argument. That's right, an agreement. Right, yeah. to, we agreed to disagree. Agreed well, to I like disagree. I like steak. Well, I like bacon, or whatever you <laughs> like. You know what I mean? Like that's not. That's just a conversation. That's just a thing. So, my world. I don't know. Oh, I just thought of some fucked up. <laughs> my, <laughs> my world would just. <laughs> Those yeah, I shouldn't <laughs> say it, but I'm going to. My world would be like if we could all like 24 7 orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> would we even be able to speak? <laughs> would we have? Would we? Have, <laughs> would we have any dialogue? Yeah. Hell no. It'd be it'd be <laughs> But that's the best feeling in the world, right? <laughs> Would it be like automatic? Like you can do it to yourself? Like well, a no, 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 no. All right, all right, so if it was a switch, that would be cool. But all right, <laughs> but but I guess too much of anything. <laughs> Yo, too Yo. much of anything isn't good. Like if you drink too much water, you'll die. That, so <laughs> I've never seen this. Though. Like how? Like just think about the feeling. Think that's about it, funny. and then just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> yeah, okay, he just started convulsing. He just rolled his eyes up and started convulsing. <laughs> I mean, shit. Well, I'm, what I'm saying, what, 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 that's like, <laughs> un, undoubtedly, that's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Like, like physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Obviously, it feels really good when, like, you, you know that you love someone and someone loves you or something like that, but physical feeling, a head rub feels good, but, like, no, nah, like, but if you had, think about it, a guy's is, like, six seconds, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> oh, we're done at that. Like, straight up. Oh, <laughs> I've been having this debate. I've actually really been thinking about this. So, um, we're going to get a little personal, guys. Um, hmm. So, like, everybody jerks off, right? Facts. Everybody does. I had a, a phase where, like, I tried to stop. <coughs> and... No fapping. I was angry, bro. Like, I was, like... I just had built up energy in me you know what I mean mm. so here's what I'm about to say like you be thinking about hooking up with a chick right yeah. but then you do that and you're like no never <laughs> I'm so happy I did that so but then think about it you do get tired like a slight tiredness after it you know what I mean yeah so if you start every day with the jerk off are you starting your day more tired or more clear headed holy shit Science. <laughs> I need this we answer, need, bro. I don't know. Need, <laughs> I need the answer. Google. <laughs> no, I'm asking you. Fuck Google. Oh, shit. You're Google. Asking yeah, I'm asking oh, you. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't know because I I jerk off like almost like probably like five times. A day? A, a week. Uh, a week. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, damn, Right bro. in the morning, like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's before the day, right? Yeah, like as soon as I wake up. Like, Are you tired sleep. after? No, nah, because I'd be like sleeping still. So it's like, oh. <laughs> nah, for real. It'd be like, <laughs> I like wake up and be like, oh shit, I'm sticky. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Have like, you ever had a wet dream? Yeah, like three times in my life. Bro, I have them all the time. Really? All the time. Like, once every other month, I'd say. Damn. Is I, that the strength of my imagination or am I literally humping <laughs> my bed? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know because, because it's always a dream. It's literally always a dream, and it's so real. Yeah. And then the second it's done, I like I wake up, and it's like, and I, and to be <laughs> anybody who's had a real wet dream knows it feels better than any sex orgasm. It's like the realest. Because it is, it's like a spiritual. It's weird. It's like, it's such a relaxed thing. Nobody talks about this shit, by the way. Like we're talking about Bro, the like, for, <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a reality. Like, and this is a this goes into the generation thing about the relationship dynamic. Oh, we haven't talked about this here yet, but we were just like I said, we just had a two three hour conversation. Did porn fuck relationships up too? <laughs> Playboy. Think of no, because th- that only porno really only came out like in the early eighties. Like the porn industry started then. Playboy was like came out in like the sixties, I think, as pictures. But I'm talking about like fucking. Oh. Then think about the internet, where we didn't have to pay for it. Wow. Did, did you ever go to video stores? Were you, like, old enough for that? Which How old are you? 24. All right. Did you ever go to, like, VHS stores to get, like, tapes with, like, your parents when you were young? Yeah. It was like, there was that back know. room. There was a shady back room with all the porn tapes. For real? Yeah. You didn't know? <laughs> nah. I, I knew it. Every, <laughs> day, every VHS store. And it wasn't like Blockbuster. It ha- it was like yeah, the yeah, local yeah. ones. Yeah, the one around you, the There's always a room with a sheet, and you look past the sheet, and there'd just be like pictures of titties on all the, all the VHS. Shit, shit, shit. But like people used to have to rent. You Think about that. Yeah, right. You never had that well, video going, Hold on, hold on. Fuck that. Fuck rent in a comedy. <laughs> going to a VHS place like, hey, man. Two day rental. <laughs> Let me get that job. <laughs> That's what, and then magazines, but then it transitioned to on the internet, just there. Like for everyone. But now it's not that though. Like, not even that the porno is shoved in our face. Just sex itself is just shoved in our face all day. When oh. already guys, all guys want to do is fuck. Right. So when that's shoved in our face, and then. Oh my god, it's so dumb. Bro, I be at work looking at old grandmas like, yo, I want a bone. 
Like, <laughs> Some girls are pretty, dude. Nah, for real, for real. I don't know why I'm like that, but I like the grannies. <laughs> I like the grannies. <laughs> we know what your utopia would be like. <laughs> Just knitting away, and then <laughs> you got cookies, you got blankets. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Nah. It's too old. For me. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Sheesh. I'll take the cookies. No, out. that that utopia, but it's a constant orgasm, so you don't have. To <laughs> <laughs> so it's already all around happiness. Yeah. Dude, I was just saying the scariest thing in the world is an old white person. <laughs> <laughs> it could be it could be a guy or a girl. Make your pick. Just imagine a really old white guy in the dark. And then in your house and you walk to the bathroom and you like you hear a sound, you turn around on there. And then you turn a light on. It's just an old white person, hair squiggly, just looking at you. Not angry, just looking at you. <laughs> That's scary as fuck. Yeah. That's it. It's scary, I'm done. No lie. The, the, the old man's face that I imagined in my head. You ever seen Up? That was that guy. No. Didn't it look like him? It really do. <laughs> yo, that's probably why I'm thinking of it. Like, <laughs> like, Consciously, it was there. Yo, I'm like, Up. <laughs> there, was a, there was a video I showed him of like this veteran wow. who was like, there were protesters at the Veterans Day <laughs> parade screaming, we're here for the veterans, not for Trump. We're here for... And the fucking veteran got mad and said, if I had a gun, I would kill all you right now. Wearing some Vietnam uniform. That's that old American mentality we were talking about, too. Dude, we talked about everything. I wish we recorded all that. Yeah, but, um, but to the main thing, the reason that we are doing this right now is because um, <laughs> we just laughed a lot. I haven't laughed. Yeah, not effects. I haven't I laughed like that in so long. I ain't laughed today. Like that was a genuine today. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I ain't laughed. No, that was a genuine. That was some real genuine. I can't wait to listen back to this just to hear that genuine laugh. Yeah, um, cause uh, cause like we're at that age where like people are either get either getting their life together or they're losing complete hope, and a lot of us are losing hope. And like with um with the losses that I've had the past couple of years, like I never lost anything like a, a grandparent or like a kid I went to high school with here and there, but nobody that I was like soul to soul with, you know, in the past two years, that's really the all that's been happening to me. Like people I envisioned seeing the future with. And um this last one was a couple of days ago, and when that happened, this was like a person that like no one should ever harm. And it was in cold blood, jealousy, whatever it was. So the other ones, the first three that passed away, had me like really pushed away into a corner to my bedroom, which is where we are, which is where we are right now. This is where I record all my music and all my podcast. And then this one a few days ago changed it. Like now I don't want to be alone. Like I want to just be with someone every single day. Thanks. And um, he had so much love, dude. Rest in peace, Jose. Rest in peace, Jimmy, Cash, Nikki, everybody, obviously, that we all lost. This is why we were talking about society. Because Cash, <clears throat> if he, if we were on, if we were all <laughs> okay financially, he wouldn't have felt the way he did to do the things he did, which was... He overdosed. Someone put fentanyl in the fucking cocaine. He wouldn't have been that low if we were okay. That's where the money in society comes in. Nikki's a really sad story. I won't say that. I'll keep that for the music. Um, Jimmy's a sad story, too. And Jose. Yeah, like... So it really just has me looking at the point of all this shit as I'm looking at pictures of all of them right now. (laughs) It has me just... Questioning just reality in itself <laughs> and what this life is, which is why we just said if we could have our, our dream world, what would it be? It would be a grandmoms and constant orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you have to get the Q tips. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking blankets. <laughs> 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 
But we're just like, honestly, we're like delirious with thoughts of sadness of the reality. Like the war has never really been on race or money. It's always just been old versus young, old mindsets versus new ones, old, old beefs and issues finished with new ones, using the new ones to finish the old beefs, which continues the cycle of... Pain and suffering, which is what I don't want anyone to deal with. Now, I'm okay with a bitch smacking me while we're fucking and shit, but, <laughs> like, that's the kind of pain that's enjoyable. I mean literal pain. Literal... I don't mean someone said you're ugly because you're beautiful to someone else. Right. This but. song sucks to someone, but to someone else, <laughs> this song is amazing they got the message you know what i mean that's the art between behind life like does life imitate art or does art imitate life that's why like this manifestation everyone says that like it is a real thing you can if you see it you can become it if you dream it it can happen but this is what i posted on my status the other day like if your reality is a nightmare is it even worth dreaming Hmm. Hmm. That's deep. It's kind of a rhetorical question, but it's not. Is it, yeah. Like. It's just something to think about. Like, damn. Because the reality sucks. Some people listening to this might might have a great life, but that shit can. Boom, and that's the only thing that I've learned the past couple of years because like I was telling you earlier I was depressed my whole life growing up I was the wigger everybody hated me and I didn't know why you know I just hated life it wasn't fun so when I turned 18 and moved to Arizona to become a rapper I projected all of the smiley buggy I projected what I wanted and it worked you know what I mean mm -hmm. but at some point you have to come to the fact at the end of the day like you're miserable and I really dove back into, not because Jimmy passed away, but when Jimmy passed away, it showed me, it really opened my eyes like, oh, I've been faking this whole time. Like, I really love people, not in that sense, but just faking, not, not faking my smiles in the convos, but just faking the, the initial happiness because that's what I want. And in turn, it's made me so super sad the past couple of years. Which is actually why I have my first tattoo on my back super sad. Because Cash was super sad. He tapped into hallucinogens and just touched another realm of... And just understood what the world could be and should be. And when he tapped out of that trip... Just wasn't okay with this reality, you know what I mean? Mm. So he resulted to fucking around... Cash didn't fuck with cocaine. He didn't touch that shit. But recently he felt... To a point where like, hey, maybe this will pick me up a little bit. Just like Mac Miller, he, we all have our vices, but what he wanted, he didn't get. That's what fucks me up. Cash didn't mean to, to go that night. Yeah. Nikki is a little different because Nikki knows the, the thin line with heroin. Heroin is a thing and Nikki Damati is one of my homies. I have a, a lot of music <coughs> recorded with him. And a couple, we, last time we recorded, he told me the whole story of why he used the first time and that it was done. And then a month later, he tried it a second time and overdosed. And like, that's a thing where you know it's like 50 50. Like, maybe I'll survive this, maybe I won't. Mm -hmm. Cocaine, yeah, but nah, you don't expect to die when you do some cocaine. You know what I mean? And that's what happened to Mac Miller. There was fentanyl in his coke. And that's the problem with society, with the war on drugs. If it was regulated, if there was some to Jose, we don't know, well, if it was just a jealousy thing, if obviously if it was a setup to get some sort of shit, whatever it was, he was fucking shot. Jimmy D's was stabbed. I can only stem those problems from money. 
Right. So well, that's why greed. My if kindness, jealousy, if my kindness was currency thing. That's why that I think of that so much because like if the way that we made money was not by being robots and this is the thing like people saying robots are going to take over our shit like we are the robots what are we talking like we are the fucking robots systematically nine to five they program that from school for us to get ready to just work every day work every night go to college our generation realized college wasn't it we realized getting married early wasn't it we realized all this shit isn't it and now we just realize fuck we're in the middle of it Right. We're 25 now. We're we're about to be we're about to be 30, and and there's nothing we can do because it's a war versus the old and young. We're not going to have a say until we're 60, until these 60 year olds are dead. And then when we're 60, we're going to be like, "Fuck that! We put in our time. Y'all got to wait till you're 60." That needs to stop. Right. All of it. School. I don't remember shit. I remember math and literature. That's all I remember. I remember seeing D's and F's. I remember seeing brawl straps. <laughs> <laughs> I remember smelling that. Because <laughs> like, that's all I was focused on. Like, if, if they gave us, like, as a kid, too, with energy, like, there were some fat kids in class, but, like, school is not it, bro. Everybody hates school, and anyone listening to this knows school fucking sucks. There's just a different way that we can learn this shit. And as a kid, bro... Looking back, I didn't want to learn things. I just wanted to, rah, I wanted to be, I was a Neanderthal. Like, I wanted to, like, just do crazy shit. So, like, knowing that, knowing that kids have that kind of energy, we should mold around that. Use the time where we have energy to teach us physical shit. Then build it in. The physical teachings can mesh in with learning. Like, kickball should have been a math game, you know? Yeah. Gym class should have been half the day. That's facts. You know what I mean? Like, That's you mean you want us to just, you just want me to get sweaty to sweat next to the girl that I have a huge crush on, right? <laughs> you just want me to smell bad next door. You want all the boys to smell like the, the same fucking spray. <laughs> the same fucking, what is it? Old Spice. Old X. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> shit. That shit smells terrible, bro. I remember people were just spraying that shit right at, at the gym class. And they swore they smelled good. Yo. But that's that's what we're talking about. We're just not happy with life and society, and that's why we're talking about a possible reality and maybe this it's not we're just the reason we're upset too is because we know it's not gonna change. And maybe this will be heard by future generations or can plant the seed of the thought of a society that self sustains from pain, from Electricity to food to everything. And that's not to say that, like, God forbid everything was perfect. Some imperfections wouldn't be found and some people would be a little fucked up even if everything was perfect for them. That's the thing about humans. That's the other side that we would start to figure out. We would start to see, like, oh, shit, this person had the perfect thing. Everything around was, but he still went left. What's that? Mm -hmm. That's what we need to figure out. Because... We're not saying what's that. We're just doing that. Fact. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's weird, bro. That's weird. Yeah, I just had a thought. Mm. What if we could... If, if there was something... Alright, look. If there was something we could do for the next generation to come, what would it be? Like the best thing. The best thing for them? Yeah. Like, if we could do something for it, for them. Well, what's the next generation? What age? How old are these people? I don't even know. But, <laughs> like, people younger than us. 20-year-olds or 10-year-olds like, like, like or... People in high school down. Or people... Yeah, not college people. We're still in college. So it's like, yeah, people in high school... How about from everyone? Down. Or everyone, yeah. <laughs> but I was just thinking about the next generation because it's like... What, like, what was people. the question? What would have to change? What, 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 what if there was, like, something we could, like, do to make him, like, enhance them or whatever, like, help them with something? What, what could we do? Like, I think this... Just yeah. talking. I don't think, like... Just communication. That's what the problem is. Remember what I said true. earlier? Like, 
Yeah. If we didn't know how ru- what Russians were saying, it, oh, it would sound angry yeah. or German, like or like some. I don't know. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like Chinese are like when they go like uh. <laughs> I'm just yeah, making yeah. sounds, but yeah. they have a different tone with what they say. Yeah. If we didn't know what they were saying, we could think that they're coming at us in yeah. a way. You know what I mean? So communication is the main. And I've been the thing on like, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah. That's a thing too, because saying that with their tendencies and how they speak in their language, how they say it is just how they say it. Right. You know, so that can't be carried over into communication. So all we need is an open dialogue because everyone on it online has a voice and that's a problem that everyone has a voice right but a lot of the people who say dumb shit are just half of them are saying it just to get a rise mm-hmm. because they're bored with their life half of them really feel like that and then the other chunks well that's 50 50 fuck math right now because <laughs> <laughs> everything is math but the other people are just are just going through the motions, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the only thing that we could do is communicate, and that's why the power of media is so is so strong. And it was strong before the internet, like CNN and all them, controlling the narratives of a lot of things. That's why a lot of this is really important. But not like some shit where, like, at one time, everyone in the world, like their phone, all the screens just go to some, like, Anarchy shit, just like, boop, new world order, everyone, right now, hug the person next to you, (laughs) if you don't, you will be killed by a drone, (laughs) like, like, force love, we force feed hate, we force feed sex, we force feed bad food, we force feed drugs, let's force love, that's a fact. Like, I mean, we can't say if you don't love this person, we're going to kill you. Yeah, no. (laughs) Because that cancels it out. So that's the other thing. Like, why does being the quote unquote bigger, better person mean that they can do what they want? And I, I, it's, I can't stoop to their level to do what they did to me for revenge because then I'm them. Mm -hmm. So being the bigger, better person, which I don't like that saying, I have to do the quote unquote right thing. But that still leaves what happened ha- that happened. You know what I mean? So it's just like a weird... It's a weird thing, and it's, all we need to do is talk to each other, dude. Because like I said, I don't know any of my neighbors, bro. I don't know if any of them need catch up right now. Hmm. I don't know if one of them, their kids wants to be a musician but just doesn't know how to go about it. Or if one of them, like I said... N- their uncle's Dave Grohl yeah. and could change my fucking life. <laughs> like, we just don't talk to each other in these, and that's what I mean about the suburbs to, like, the quote unquote a hood. From Marlton, Cherokee, going to Collingswood, which is a gentrified <laughs> town, it looks like, if I don't know what I'm talking about, connected to Woodland and Camden. The vibes and the family thing in Collingswood was drastically different than Marlton. Everybody hated each other in Marlton. Everybody was fake. Everybody lied. Everybody stole. The drugs from Camden went to Marlton. (laughs) So going from there to Collingswood and just seeing how real people were, how the jocks were friends with the quote-unquote geeks, and, and it was just, there wasn't any thin, there wasn't lines. There was like, at the end of the day, we're people and we just want to be happy. Like, everybody wants to get out to be better. In the suburbs, everybody felt like they were better. Hmm. Everybody felt like they were already better than everybody. And me being the white kid wearing a big shirt because I was fat, I was the wigger. And I was the outcast. So, like, I have a completely different outlook than a lot of the pretty white girls from that area have. Cherokee and Marlton is for pretty white girls. Hmm. That's I don't it. even know where none of those places are. It's a sketchy place. You don't ever <clears throat> want to go there. But like, and I sound really, really pompous saying this shit. But it's just like it's just what I went through, and it's a reality. Like, racism gets passed down. All that, all the pain, just like pain and addiction gets passed down. Yeah. So does happiness, dude. None of us are happy. Why? Because our fucking parents aren't happy, and their parents weren't happy, and their parents are passing it down to them, and they pass it to us, and we're passing. It starts with the old people, bro. bro. Like, the old people are miserable. And it's probably... That's where religion comes in and people clam to that to mm. 
Because the thought of like, we're just here and we go, like that's overwhelming to people. But what if this is heaven? Facts. What if this is where we're supposed to be? That What if this is why what we think and manifest can happen? What if this is where things are supposed to be good? Like, a lot of people feel like this is hell. And the spiritual next level is the heaven. That's why a lot of things get away with happening here. Why can somebody do something perfect and die in a car accident? Or why can a baby be born with terminal cancer when they did nothing? So that's where, like, the reincarnation comes in. The person who got reincarnated with terminal cancer, was he a rapist in his past life? Mm. Like, damn. It's weird. It's, it's like, those are just thoughts of that, but they're not thoughts of reality. Some, something that we can hold on to. Like, being funny, my wet dream. Mm. That was that's the best orgasm I've ever had with any girl I've ever fucked. <laughs> ever. That's like a spiritual thing in my brain that I can't explain that my body was so relaxed that it it's like it doubles the time, it feels real and it's that's just a real thing, dude. And that's nothing that I'll be able to explain. But what I can explain is like when I talk to you, I'm happy. When we discuss this shit, and I'm not just sitting by myself thinking about it, driving my fucking self insane. <laughs> it's like, oh, at least I know I'm not crazy. At least someone feels the same. That's what music is. It's a yearning of connection. Yeah. It's not you guys come to my show so I can headbang and be the center of attention. It's so that we all have a reason to hang out and party besides Christmas and a funeral. And that's, that's like one of the best feelings. That's the only feeling that I want. The feeling on stage is that's the only... Really, the only reason I'm still here, because the moment I'm on stage is when, and I know that this isn't cockiness. I know that people are feeling it because it's a feeling. I know that I'm helping them and they know that they're helping me. You know, it's a give and give. It's not yeah. gimme, gimme. Fact. That's how I'm not on the road. That's how I felt like when I went to uh, the show in the city. The Which last, one? AC? The last one, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like. I just got a work type shit, but it was like. What time? Did you, when did you pull up? Like, who was playing? It was uh, Hempwick. They were playing. Yeah, they oh, was Hempwick. so good. Hempwick, yeah. <laughs> Hempsey was so wasted that night. I love that <laughs> yo, guy. Yo, no dude. lie, yo, we, yo, that's my guy. We got a few drinks together. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. yeah but nah, He's dude. like, I'm sorry, I was drunk. I had to cut the <laughs> set short. I was like, dude, you're you went the whole length of your thing. Like, <laughs> you stopped when you were supposed to. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> but no, he's amazing. That's my favorite band, Hempwick. Shout out to Hempwick. Shout out to yeah. Stephen Clement Jr. Their band. We're about to. We're linking up on Saturday. Actually, we're talking about a tour. Hey. Our next show there is going to be January twenty fourth. In in the city again. You see, yeah. Mm. That's dope. Yeah, but nah, I just feel like yeah. Every show I go, like I try to make it to like every show because it's like yo, I don't want to fucking be home in a fucking negative ass fucking. Space. It's to, not even that. You know that these shows are. Yeah. I, I'm preaching yeah. what I, what we're talking about. I preach exactly. at my shows, nah, and definitely. you when you come, you can feel it. You can see that people are connect. They're not just coming to see the person they came to see. They're shocked at the other talent and how much love is there, and no one leaves. They stay the whole show because it's a genuine thing. Man. That's awesome, dude. I love that. It's. I'm so happy. I'm not the only one who feels it because, like, I feel like I'm the one who's. It's hard to feel it while you're doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though you feel it, because you're too in you the do it because you feel it. So it's like a, it's like an oxymoron in a way. It's yeah. like the, the yin and yang. The balance of pain, and I hate that statement. Like, <laughs> you won't know what happiness is until you go through pain. Like, like I don't need to be stabbed to know that it hurts. <laughs> yeah. I know it hurts. I don't need to feel that to know that that's gonna hurt. I don't need you to break up with me to have a heartbreak to my next relationship to not to keep a wall up. So now the girl feels like, ooh, well, like I have something to work around now. Like that's what it is. Like girls want to fix a guy and guys exactly. want a real relationship, but guys get broken and then girls want to fix it. It's like that's really the circle it goes in. I, don't, I mean, nah, it can't be like that. But I don't know. At the same time, you got what well, I think about it like. Girls do try to fix guys, but at the same time, I feel like girls see things in guys that they don't see. They have to think about it. Like, sometimes, like, when it's like, especially if she's been with, like, if she knows you, 
Mm-hmm. Y'all know each other. She definitely feels some type of way if she like fucks with you. You know, like she definitely feels some type of way about you. So it's like, I mean, my girl, for instance, like I don't know. I think about that and think about like how she might have seen something in me that I ain't think I seen in myself. Mm-hmm. But I probably did see it. You know what I'm saying? Like I see, probably that, did. That's I good. See, that's why they say like you need to be okay with yourself before you're with you're okay with someone else. Because then, right. if you're not okay with yourself, you depend on that person. And if you lose that person, whether it's death, them leaving you, whatever it is, you're you were dependent on them, and then you don't feel like you without them. So that's never good. So yeah. you need to be you before you have someone. That's why I've been single for the past couple of years. Like I'm a relationship guy, but I don't want to hop into like and it's not that's not to say that anything could can't happen in a moment but like i don't want to psychologically thinking about what life is and what i've been going through and i don't even want to depend on another person to make me happy because when i'm with a girl like i'm big on loyalty and trust and if i feel one type of way it's going to ruin everything else that i do and i'm very overprotective those are Mm. might be flaws but to some people look at those as quality no, traits you know what i mean so <laughs> it's a it's, it is a yin and yang with shit but the yin and yang like i said pain is fine when you want it <laughs> when you want to like get smacked while you're fucking but if i if you just smack me like with malice then that's an issue obviously yes. so there's there's levels to pain that is okay like tolerated pain yeah. like football that's it hurts but it's fun yeah it's like Ugh, yeah do it again. you're not gonna fucking sword fight someone with a real sword <laughs> because it's fun no it hurts if you cut my arm off it's weird bro <laughs> so pretty much what we just want to like we just want to know like you asked me how can we change this how can we flip the narrative of life and make us living instead of working living to work or even working to live how can we just live and let the world work for us like it already does with its natural mel- natural remedies and shit we should be able to just be one with the earth and live with it instead of living on top of it hmm. that's how we're ending it boom tell anybody you love them I love every freaking body on this freaking planet except I'm not going to say <laughs> but you know who the people are that I love you, the fam, the, the peoples, the, the, the friends, the, 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 the guys, the girls, <laughs> you know, the grannies. The grannies, that's what it is, the grannies. I love everyone. I love all you guys, too. Um, I actually can't wait to listen back to this one. This one will be cool, but I definitely didn't even... We didn't get in depth nearly what we talked yeah, about right. when we did, but we just talked about it for three hours. So yeah. next time we're gonna do it on here. But if you guys can comment, tell us how you feel about life, what you think this reality is, what it should be, where we can go. It's buggy, bitch. Yep. I love you guys. <laughs>